In the realm of human cognition, a mysterious and intriguing domain unfolds, a place where the boundaries of science and ethics meld into shadows. Welcome to the enigmatic world of mind control and behavioral modification. Here, clandestine experiments have aimed to unravel the secrets of the human mind, often teetering on the precipice of ethical exploration. As we embark on this voyage, we tread with caution, delving into the depths of scientific inquiry where questions abound but answers remain elusive. The pursuit to understand, influence, and navigate human behavior has woven a complex tapestry of experiments, some brought to light, others veiled in secrecy, each clutching a fragment of the larger puzzle. In the pursuit of comprehending human behavior and cognition, certain historical experiments have garnered severe criticism for ethical transgressions. It is imperative to approach these narratives with a discerning eye, acknowledging the ethical and moral dimensions intertwined with these studies. Magnifying Glass Historical Experiments Under Ethical Scrutiny KeyCap 1 MK Ultra, 1950s 1960s Project MK Ultra, a covert CIA initiative, delved into techniques for mind control and behavioral modification. Employing drugs like LSD, hypnosis, sensory deprivation, and psychological torture, the project sought to fathom their impact on behavior and control. KeyCap 2 Little Albert Experiment, 1920. Conducted by John B. Watson and Rosalie Rayner, the Little Albert Experiment conditioned an infant, Little Albert, to fear a white rat by associating it with a loud, startling noise. This experiment faced criticism for causing psychological harm to the child and for lacking informed consent from the parents. KeyCap 3 Stanford Prison Experiment, 1971. Philip Zimbardo's Stanford Prison Experiment simulated a prison environment, assigning participants to roles as guards and prisoners. The study was terminated prematurely due to its extreme psychological effects on participants, igniting ethical concerns regarding the treatment and well-being of the subjects. KeyCap 4 Tuskegee Syphilis Study, 1932-1972 Conducted by the U.S. Public Health Service, the Tuskegee Syphilis Study followed African-American men with syphilis without informing them of their diagnosis or providing appropriate treatment. The study persisted even after the advent of penicillin as a standard treatment, shedding light on severe ethical violations. KeyCap 5 Aversion Therapy Studies Aversion therapy involves associating undesirable behavior with unpleasant stimuli to deter it. In some historical cases, this therapy was inappropriately employed, causing significant distress and harm to individuals. Rocket Towards Modern Horizons Ethical explorations continue. Gone are the days of clandestine experiments. We now stand at the threshold of a transparent, informed quest to unravel and influence the complexities of human behavior. Advanced neuroscience technologies, coupled with cutting-edge psychological insights, offer a glimpse into the intricate machinery of our minds. Brain neuromodulation techniques, unveiling the brain's potential. Transcranial magnetic stimulation, TMS, involves applying a magnetic field to specific brain regions, offering potential applications in altering brain activity and influencing behavior. Transcranial direct current stimulation, TDCS, delivers a low-intensity electrical current to the brain, modulating neuronal activity and showing promise in enhancing cognitive functions and behavior. Gear behavioral conditioning, shaping behavior for positive outcomes. Operant conditioning links behavior with positive or negative reinforcement, widely used in psychology to encourage or discourage certain actions. Systematic desensitization aids in treating phobias by gradually exposing individuals to their fears, aiming to reduce fear responses in a controlled environment. ICE subliminal messaging and priming the power of subconscious influence. Subliminal perception presents stimuli below conscious awareness, potentially influencing subsequent behavior and decision-making. Priming exposes individuals to specific stimuli like words or images, influencing subsequent thoughts, attitudes, or behaviors related to those stimuli. Anti-clockwise arrows, cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, nurturing positive change. Cognitive restructuring, 
A vital component of CBT where individuals learn to identify and alter negative thought patterns, leading to changes in behavior. Exposure therapy. Systematic exposure to anxiety-provoking stimuli, aiming to reduce anxiety and associated behaviors. Bar graph biofeedback and neurofeedback. Harnessing self-regulation abilities. Biofeedback. Utilizes electronic monitoring to provide real-time physiological information, empowering individuals to control and modify physiological processes. Neurofeedback. Trains individuals to regulate brainwave patterns through real-time feedback, potentially aiding conditions like ADHD, anxiety, or insomnia. The exploration of mind control and behavioral modification unveils a realm both fascinating and treacherous, where the lines between science, ethics, and individual autonomy blur. History reminds us of the darker chapters, the covert experiments, ethical violations, and the imperative need for ethical awareness.